Hello everyone, welcome to year number seven. Can you believe it's year number seven already? Um, we are gonna. Where are all my tools? Okay, good. Um, right, let's just get everything back out. Um, we are gonna have to go through this the same way as we always start, and that is getting rid of all of the shit from the winter, all the weeds from our little area. Um, if you joined us last time, you will see that we have five seed makers. We have been making a lot of seeds. A lot of seeds. Let's go and harvest all of our wonderful cauliflowers. Now, we're going to continue with our our uh, idea of putting half of them in the preserve jars and half of them in... Oh, the potatoes are ready too. Half of them in the preserve jars, half of them in the seed maker. Uh, let's just go ahead and... I kind of want to... You know what? Bad idea. One, two, three. And let's just grab these. Because every time I'm actually making the seeds, I'm actually in the field anyway. So uh, this just makes it a lot easier for me if I uh, chuck three in there. It's also honey day, if you can believe that. This is our fourth honey day. We have 50. 50 uh, beehives now. Or is it 51? I actually think we have 51. Um, one of them I put in a little late, so it's not actually going to have any honey on it right now. Okay, so as of recording right now, um, the previous episode of this series went out last night. And I've had quite a look at the state of this farm. Uh, I've had quite a lot of comments, and one of them, extremely helpful, told me, and I don't know how I forgot about this, Put the honey, because this honey sells for 100 base, because I've got the artisan perk, it sells for, what's it, 140? Um, but if I put it into a keg, we can turn this honey into mead and double, or maybe more than double its price. I think it's like, is it 2.5 times its price? So we could be getting like, I will sell one of these honey early, uh, but we could be getting at least 300 per honey. Uh, when we turn it into mead, and I can't believe I never thought about it. Uh, so all the fruit, I think I'll just make the fruits into jellies, or just sell them as they are, because the fruits now are not, not the, uh, not the go-to thing for the kegs. The kegs are for the honey. That is, uh, a huge reason why we should become a honey farm. Oh, we, we do have a lot of crops ready today. Um, but not all of the cauliflowers, just just the ones we got from the mixed seeds and potatoes. Uh, I will continue to pick all the potatoes, and I think we have enough potatoes now uh, that we'll have more than enough seeds for next year. Um, I think also I'm going to be putting a lot of the cauliflowers into seeds. I'm going to go around this farm, and it's such a shame I picked the wrong thing. Uh, in the forager skill, because I would love hardwood. Um, where is it? Where is it? Skills. Yeah, for foraging, I put gatherer because I thought it'll be nice. I could I could gather double the fruit. Doesn't work like that. Uh, also, um, I should have picked lumberjack for this instead of gatherer because at this instead of, I mean, it's nice to have highest quality stuff from a back cave, but. Uh, I pick all them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so such a waste. Also, I could be getting hardwood right here. And uh, that would just mean hardwood fences. They wouldn't constantly crumble like this. Yes, I could make stone fences. But wood, I could get infinite infinite wood. Stone, I can only get from the, the little mining strip I have. So stone is like, although I have 628, it is quite a rare commodity. So, I'm gonna go ahead, fix all the fix all the fences, and we'll come back. We'll come back on the last day of spring. Okay, so we've done a bit of tidying up, and we have got our first mead back. Uh, I think mead was like ten hours it took. I think mead takes like ten hours to. to I say I think I know it does because I looked at the wiki, but it, mead takes ten hours to ferment. Is that the right word? Oh, we had a couple of missed ones there too. Um, so we have 12 mead already. 
from this 226 honey. We'll just keep them all in here, except we're going to sell one base of each. I know I normally don't sell anything until the end of the year, but we're just going to do a little experiment here. Just a little experiment. Uh, just to see how much we get from uh, each. And also, let's put a couple more ores in here. Getting closer to making another keg. Uh, I think kegs are the way to go. Kegs and uh, beehives, definitely, definitely the way to go. So I've got my fruit in here, I've got my vegetables in here, and in this one, it's uh, the finished product. So we will go and sleep and see how much money we got. 420, but from what? Okay, so it is, it's just double. It's just a straight double. I don't know if it's like a 2.5. I think it's 2.5 when it's a fruit or a vegetable. Okay, we now enter the first day of summer. And look, oh, it's, it's honey day. It's honey day and look at all this money. That's not me, that's money. Um, I think it's, I, I, tell me if I'm wrong on this, but I think honey is every four, no, five. Four, it's got to be four days. I think, no wait, five? I don't know. I don't know. Um, every four days. Every four days. Every four days. Okay. So that's nice. That is nice to know. Every four days we're getting honey. And we have 51. 51 beehives now. Or bee houses. If you want to be like that. Um, 51 honey right there. So we are getting... A lot. Of, how many of these do I? This is actually a good, good question. I don't know how many kegs I own. I have no idea how many kegs I own. Um, let's see. Will we go through the full thing here? So 17 left. So we got 34, 34 kegs. So we're always a little bit over. Um, but we can do two runs of this in one day if we stay awake until 5 p.m. Uh, all the meat is ready again. Mead has got such a quick turnover time, 10 in-game hours. If I do like a fruit wine, we're waiting like two or three days for it to be uh to be for it to be ready. Uh so we've got we've got nine ancient fruit. I think the best thing to do is well we'll put five. We'll put five into the machines and we will make four ancient fruit wine. Ancient fruit wine I think sold for two thousand eight hundred last time out. I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Also, I think I'm going to just put the the fruit into the uh, make it into jam instead of wine because even though it does sell for a little and only a little bit more um, it, it just takes up so much time that I could be making mead. Uh, also, it's apricot and apricot, salmonberry and blackberry sell for less in the wine as they do in jelly. They're much more valuable in jelly form. Oh, we only got one one seed back from one fruit on that one. Okay, we got three on that, so four overall. Two on that one. Three on that one. And three on that one. That's actually really good. So from those five ancient seeds, we've got 12 more, sorry, eight, for those five ancient fruits, we've got 12 extra ancient fruit seeds. So far, we're up to 13 seeds for next season. Uh, sorry, next year. Um, I want to get to the point where uh, we are just covering this with ancient fruit. Because ancient fruit is going to be a huge seller. That just made me realise that we're going to need way more, way more kegs. Way more kegs. Okay, so after a lot of watering. I hate the first day of the season because there's just so much hoeing and watering to do. I think I've hit... No, I haven't. Now I think I've, I've hit every... No, I still haven't. Now I think I've hit every patch. I think so. What we have here is red pep... No, radishes, red peppers, and corn. Um, ran out of everything, so I had to put corn in. I didn't really want to use corn this year. Uh, but I was like, well, better than nothing. Uh, we did wait the 10 hours of the day. Not by choice, just it took me that long. And uh, now we have our mead back up and running. Oh, before I forget, let's also put four, uh, two, shit. Let's put in four uh, ancient fruit wine. Let's put them just here. That is like instantly, what, like nearly 12,000 gold just from doing that there. Um, I'm looking forward to the next 
harvest, we get nine ancient fruit seeds every... I want to say every... Yeah, every week. And now we're being attacked by a bat. You know, it's been so long since I've been out on the farm this late. There's an owl. Does that mean we're going to get an owl statue tonight, or just... Nah. You know, it's a shame I can't go fishing. Because sometimes I just have to sleep. And I would love just to just to be able to fish like in a little pond or something. Just to like get that like, extra little bit of money. Something to do. Um, it's a lonely life on the farm. Uh, but it is the seventh day. We have been making some radish seeds. I just replanted the radishes yesterday. Or radish eye. Plural term. Uh, let's just put that last one in there. And we are going to try... Oh, so it takes exactly one week. Okay, that's interesting. It takes exactly one week to get the, the ancient fruit wine. Um, also, we're now out of honey. We've turned all the honey into mead. Um, so we're going to get another nine, nine berries. Um, I kind of want to turn... I think I might just keep doing four... Actually, five into... Because we've got five seed makers. Let's do five into more seeds. And then drill the other four back in to these. Uh, so we do have four bottles of ancient fruit wine, which I believe sell for 2,800. I believe. Um, we don't have any honey. We used all our honey. We have like well over 300 mead at this point. Um, I'm unsure when uh, we will get the more honey. I think it's tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. But yeah, 343 mead. There's the four ancient fruit wine. Hopefully, gonna get a good amount of seeds. If I get to like a decent amount of seeds, I might just start putting all the rest of the fruit in there. So we got three, another two, another three, another one, and another two. So 11. 11 seeds from that. I think we went 12 last time. So we now have 24 ancient fruit seeds. So next spring, we can do a minimum of 24 tiles of uh, ancient fruit seeds, which will give us. 24 ancient fruit um, on the first of summer, and then another 24, then another 24, then another 24. Yeah, I don't think I will use the seed makers on any fruit crops we get for the rest of the year. Because doing the calculations now, we are going to have enough ancient fruit to have this completely covered in ancient fruit next year. Which will... Uh, it will make things a little, a little less interesting in a way. Because when they're just filled with just ancient fruit, it will mean that we no longer need to like check and hoe and do stuff every month, every week, every day. Uh, it's just going to be like, we know we can just sleep for a week and then we'll get the ancient fruit back. I still will be collecting the honey every day, but it will it really will uh, take a lot of the um, a lot of the variety away from the game. So I might keep some ancient, I might keep some fruit, normal fruit seeds back. Um, we are going to have to get a lot more iron. Because I need kegs, especially if we're making more ancient fruit. Okay, so I talked about it a little bit um, in the last episode. But something I'm going to be doing on this is, after we hit our goal of 10 million gold, uh, that is, that is going to be the end of this individual series. But we're going to stay on this farm. And we are going to use that 10 million gold to uh, do something I've wanted to do in my like thousand hours of playing this game that I've never done. And that is I want to get every achievement in the game. Now I originally started playing this game on PlayStation. Uh, when it first came out on PlayStation, I bought the game there. And I still to this day put most of my hours in on PlayStation. Even though I haven't played the PlayStation version in years. Um, I got, I think there was like three trophies as I know on PlayStation away from completing the game. <clears throat> so I have been very, very close. The I think the only ones I struggled with was the, the is it Fector's Challenge, where you have to complete the mini game in the bar without losing it. A life even once. Um, what else was there? There was oh, there was so many. There's so many achievements to get. The cook every item I didn't get. Craft every item I didn't get. And there was another one too. But I want to try to get every single achievement 
on this game for Steam, every Steam achievement. So that is what we're going to be doing after. After we complete this challenge, this save, this world will continue, will live on. So yeah, next, next episode, we'll probably be making, I want to say half a million. I want to make half a million in the next episode. Will it happen? Uh, let's face it, probably not. Uh, but there is a there is a small chance. There's a small chance. Um, but I think at max we have like three episodes left. Uh, but this this uh, this farm will live on. This character, this save will live on, and we will attempt to get the full Steam achievements list done. Okay, it is the first day, the first day of fall. Uh, oh, I missed one. This one, there we go. Uh, it's the first day of fall, which means new crops. New crops, new year, new everything. No, well, not new year. Although it is actually new year as recording this. Um, actually, today, that's a good That's a good point. Today is the 6th of January as I'm recording this. Obviously, I'll edit it and upload it at a later date. But it is the 6th of January as I'm talking. And today, I've got to take down my Christmas decorations. 6th of January is the 12th day of Christmas. It is the day you take down all your Christmas stuff. Um, unless you want to keep up. Um, which, you know, feel free. Uh, I live in Finland, Northern Finland, which means we get, like, still, even now, it's like maybe 19 hours of darkness each day. So, um, a lot of people keep their outside Christmas lights on just because it makes the place look nice. Cheers the place up a little bit. Uh, but back to Stardew Valley. Uh, here I have 24 ancient seeds. Plus I kept a few of these ancient fruits that have already grown. And what we're going to do now is we are going to plow them all into the seed maker. Yeah, okay, we're just waiting for the last of the ancient fruit seeds to be ready. Uh, I'm just going to plant pumpkins everywhere. I think I'm just going to fill this place full of pumpkins. Um, right, how many ancient seeds do we have now? We have 49, um, that is insane, 49 plus 24 is 73, that's right right, it's 70, yeah it's 73, it's 73, um, we, ha we started like 60 something uh, pumpkin seeds here, so we can get a good idea of just how much uh, we are going to be filling this up with next year, also we still have like 3 harvests I think, of the ancient fruit seeds, maybe only 2. But, um, yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good as far as the ancient seeds go. Uh, and we'll do the rest with artichokes. Because I have a lot of artichokes uh, from last year that I turned into seeds. Uh, this year, however, we are not going to be turning anything back into seeds. Everything will just be turned into ancient seeds. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we got a bit of a game changer. Um, the game changer is nothing that's actually happened in the game, ironically enough. A uh, game changer is something I've done where I have stopped living in the Stone Age and I have started animation cancelling. If there's a tree down here, I'll show you how it goes. Yes, there is. Normally, when I'm using the axe or pickaxe or whatever, this is this is the speed. This is the speed. Sp speed? Speed. But when I hold in my two mouse button, side mouse buttons, and then press space, I can uh, animation cancel, and I can cut stuff down at the speed of light, almost. Uh, I'll show you just how fast you can do it here. I'm still getting used to it. The, the, my, my timing isn't perfect. It kind of, sometimes I'm cancelling before I've actually even hit the tree. But normally it's this, like even clicking just the mouse, it still takes a long time. Still still got the stump as well, but when I have the animation cancelling, it's like this. Oh, shit. Huge difference. Huge difference. I'm still like rusty. You've basically got to hold in the two side mouse buttons uh, and the animation button and then press space to cancel the animation uh, if you do it if you cancel it too soon it's just you're never gonna hit anything um, like 
I'm cancelling it before it's even all the way down. But if I cancel it just as it hits the wood, like this, kind of get a nice little rhythm. But uh, it's just another quality of life kind of thing. Um, oh, I didn't even know the dog was there. I just like gave him uh, a little bit of love. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something I just thought, you know what, I want to learn how to do that. Everyone is doing it. Every speedrunner is doing it. And I recently had a, uh, a run where I was doing the underpants soup meme percent. And I lost like an hour and ten minutes of in-game time. Because I had to slowly exhaust myself uh, before leaving Pierre's. And that's just something I don't need to worry about now. I can like instantly just drain the stamina so fast if I wanted to. Oh, it's Artichoke Day. You haven't heard me say that this year. It is Artichoke Day. Now, I don't like artichokes in real life. Um, recently, like, for like a, well, I say recently, it was, it was, it was a month ago today, actually. Uh, went out to, like, a Christmas work, um, party thing uh, at a restaurant, and you had to pick, like, what food you wanted. And on the menu, there was, like, for each like starter, main course, uh, the other thing, appetizer, whatever, I don't know. Uh, there was all, like, there was an artichoke option in everything. I think the owner of the restaurant must have a friend that like does something in the artichoke business and uh, he gets them for, f for cheap or something. Also, we've got five of these to uh, plow into this, see how many seeds we get back. But uh, yeah, it was just like, I don't like artichokes. There's so much artichoke stuff. So I just picked everything that didn't contain an artichoke. So, three seeds for that. I've just realised, did I have like one gold one? So the gold one processes faster than these. And I've got four silver ones now, so the silver ones should process uh, a little bit faster than those last ones did. Didn't realise that. Uh, oh yeah, i got to remember to... I, I just love this. Each one of these pops that you're hearing, pop, 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 is uh, 280 gold. Love it. That is the sound of money. Oh, it's pumpkin day. We had our, we just had the day for the uh, artichokes. Now we've got pumpkins. And uh, what I think I'm going to do with the pumpkins is I'm going to put most of them in the seed maker. Not for next year, but, oh, will we have time? Yeah, it's like 13 days, 14 days to grow, so we will have enough time to completely refill our, maybe in the last day, I think this happened last year as well, like in the last episode, we had, where it was a cold sweat waiting on the pumpkins, uh, last day of the year, we got our pumpkin harvest. Also, just look at this, 848 mead, unreal, such a good haul of mead. Uh, what's this? 281 hot pepper jelly. I did not know I made that many this year. Uh, where's the corn? Only 51 pickled corn. Uh, I really, I mean, I got double in pickled potato. Uh, I really did not go that hard with the corn this year. Um, just remembering that it does not sell the best. We wanted the things that sell the absolute best. What I'm wanting to do is get as many pumpkins as possible. Uh, like, fill this place. Oh, there was an art shop down here. Uh, fill this place full of pumpkins because uh, in the winter time I will be getting no honey, so my my kegs will be dry. Uh, so I can be using that time to be filling them with pumpkins and make pumpkin wine, which we know sells for a good amount of money as well. Wake up next day, ah, uh, look what's everything is ready. Everything is ready. We got eggplants. We got corn. We've got uh, how many how many crows are you scared of? Seventy two. This guy deserves a raise. Uh, thankfully, we did manage to grow these in time. Um, it's going to be no more seed makers for us. We don't need the seed maker for anything again. Um, well, next year with the ancient fruits for like one day. But uh, other than that, the ancient, the ancient seeds are going to take care of themselves. We are going to... Oh, we're not going to get another harvest of the eggplants. Okay. That's a shame. I think I'm like one day off more eggplants. I'm also one day off getting more honey. So that is all the honey and all the mead has been done for this season as well. 
Um, throughout the winter, we're going to be just making wine. Everything is going to go through the winemaker, um, apart from the few crops that actually benefit from not being in the winemaker. Uh, but everything else, we will put in the winemaker, starting with all these pumpkins. I don't think we actually got that many pumpkins in the uh, in the kegs last year. Uh, I think most of the pumpkins um, we put back into seeds just so we'd make sure we had more than enough for this year. I'm glad we did the planet though. That was uh, that was really good. Wow, over a thousand mead. Over a thousand mead. Let's just uh, alphabeticalize these. Get them together. It is the last day of the year. That means it's sale time. Uh, oh, look at these. Oh, jeez. The fences are completely destroyed. Uh, luckily, we have a stack of 99. So, this is going to be sale day and also maintenance day because I forgot to do any maintenance over the entire course of the winter. Okay, we're ready to sell everything now. Uh, just made two more kegs. Just an extra two. Uh, we want to fill this area completely up with kegs, uh, as kegs are the future. I don't know what we're going to be using these for now. Maybe if I put some mead in here, I could put some, make some, make some jelly out of the uh, ancient seeds. No idea. These are empty. Uh, everything we made is in here. Um, we made 97 pumpkin juice, which is going to sell amazingly well. I'm so excited to see how much the mead sells for. That is going to be amazing. Uh, let's just grab everything we can. I'm going to drop the stone. I think I do this every year. Let's just drop off the pickaxe, the axe, the stone and the wood. Just so we can carry as much as we can to the sale window. Chuck all that in there. These little miscellaneous things I've had nowhere else to put. Let's just chuck them in. Just got so much of the sap related items that I could just sell some off the top. So we have set ourselves up nicely for next year. Uh, got the stone walls in now, which I think last a lot longer than the... Uh, well, I know last a lot longer than the walls we did have. Um, time will tell just how many seasons these last for. Not as good as hardwood, of course, but uh, a lot better than just normal wood. How much did we make? I got an achievement. Did something right. Okay. I'm very happy with that. We doubled our personal best. And that was before we made anything out of ancient fruit. I think we made one ancient fruit wine. Or did we make four? I can't remember. Let's see where we got the money from. Oh, we made eight. Okay, this was just from eight ancient fruit wine. Uh, throughout the whole of summer and the whole of autumn... We're going to be making over a hundred ancient fruit wines each week. Each week! Right, we've got the calculator up here. So if we're making 2310 each, for each sale of each one ancient fruit wine, and we're making, um, let's, let's say, I think it was like 107 we have. So 107 uh, for just one week quarter of a million and if we can harvest four times in the summer and three times in the uh, autumn or fall we can times that by seven again so just from the ancient fruit alone nothing else just ancient fruit on its own we'll be making at least uh what was that 1.7 million um we will have the kegs filled with uh, the ancient fruit wine but we can of course make uh, mead in the summertime we made, uh, sorry in the spring we made 279,720 gold from a full stack of mead and then a little bit on top just incredible, what else? pumpkin juice pumpkin juice sells for a grand each uh, nearly 10,000 made there no, I read that completely wrong, nearly 100,000 that's a lot of money. 1.6 million. And I'm try I'm hoping maybe 5 million a year was too much. Maybe we still have like 3 episodes left. All comes down to how much kegs I how many kegs I can make. Um maybe I'll put some more uh ancient fruit into the seed maker as well. Just and just try to flood the place with Yeah, maybe I don't prioritize kegs. 
maybe it's best to prioritise more sprinklers. I just, but that is going to do it for this year. We will take it off again next year. I'm going to go away and edit this now. Hope you've all had a wonderful time. Hello. Sadly, uh, I have some bad news to tell you. Um, after I finished recording this, I did some speedruns. And I did a whole bunch of speedruns. And filled filled my, uh, my load area full of like dead files. So I was just going around delete, 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 delete. And I accidentally deleted my save where I never ever leave the farm. Um, very, very depressing. This series is now over. Can I reach 10 million without leaving the farm? The answer is no. But I didn't reach 1 million, so I'm happy enough with that. Uh, the next journey is going to be this one here, which is sexy, which is is hilarious because anyone that speaks to me says hi, sexy. So I love that. And the whole thing around this is I'm going to fill this whole area with nothing but coops. We are going to try to crash the game by having over a thousand chickens on the farm at one time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sorry, I deleted the save. This is the final episode. Uh, but do subscribe if you are new and uh, let's take the next journey for breaking the game of chickens.